What's up everyone and welcome to today's video and today we are going on the free to play account little c24 free to play and we are going to go over how things are going what my direction is of the account maybe you can get some tips from my progression and how I'm doing so I'm working on my buildings as we speak I need to work on my farms um, I've got my silver mines at a decent rate right now. Got to work on the fortress, but iron is an issue, and iron is always an issue in the beginning. So working on that, um, doing our dailies, our summons. Let's take a look at the resources that we have. So for tokens, we've got five, five of the purples, Five of the egg event tokens, five of the battle of the bastards, and two red tokens. Um, yeah, I'm trying to pile up those uh, purples. Um, we got that. We're farming a lot of skill books and gear. Um, Zaro's going to be four stars soon, so we want those uh, skill books, strategist skill books for him. Uh, let's go over the roster and basically what my plans are. So, on here, um, Khal Drago is five shards away from getting to the third star, which is going to be huge for this account. It's going to be huge. I decided, I did start the account with a two-star Daenerys who was carrying me for most of my content and such. Um, she was one of the main characters that I was using. And then when Free Cities came out and all the free summons came through the mail for the campaign, I got ones that I shouldn't have gotten, but hey, they were sent to me. So Zynga's delivery system for you. I decided I would go for Free Cities. I had Zaro at three stars already. Um, I had a ton of luck and was able to pull Daenerys. Um, free synergy, free city synergy. They start with 100% stamina, so they do really well in events. You need the long braided two stars. I was able to get them a little over two stars. They're almost maxed out. Uh, Zaro still has some levels. He's 133 out of 150, so we're going to work on him and then work on their gear. Um, still certain gear pieces I can't get. Like, I can't get the... Um, the common belt area. Um, I can't get an epic for this to save my life, but we're going to keep trying. Um, yeah, just working on that gear. Um, then this week, I I've been doing very well in the events. Um, I'm getting first place in easy and hard. Um, I'm getting first place. So I'm getting lots of tokens coming in, but treacherous... I can't do, and Kingslayer, no way. So I got to work on that. I got to work on that. So I had an idea. I remember on my big account how well Caitlyn was as help to me in beating difficult nodes. Now, I don't have Tyrion, and I definitely need Tyrion to help me, but I want to go with the idea of building an ice team for uh, raids, PvP to complete more of the campaign. I feel like I could do that better. So I'm going to be using my green summon tokens on Caitlyn. If I get her to two star, then she has the ability to afflict the enemies with ice when someone goes below 50% and heal them. So that'll be nice and get some extra stars. Um, 17 shards. I should be able to get that next time she comes around with these events once a week. I do have a two-star Ned, so he's going to be uh, with the crew of the Ice Crew. Uh, Lord of Bones, definitely going to be with the Ice Crew. Um, so we're going to have Lord of Bones. Um, we're, gonna, we're getting closer to four stars on Archer, so Archer's definitely going to be viable, and Brawler's almost at four stars, so Brawler's going to be viable. So once I get that team running while I keep running events with the Free City team, I should be able to get my Ice Team up, ice team up and running, and that'll be good. Um, for other characters I got, uh, I was able to get 1-1, who has no use for me right now, unfortunately. 
Uh, Samwell is going to be huge. I'm going to keep pulling for blue so I could get uh, more Sam and more Ned. Um, while going for Caitlyn, I'm going to get Peter Baelish, who, if you saw my Shield video, I'm going to try it on a low level, maybe like a two-star team. I'm going to try to get the Shield team at two-star and see what I could do. Uh, Zaro's already three-star, so he's going to carry that team. We're going to need Sam up higher. And then for the other characters in the Shield team, um, Alistair, we need 10 shards. Uh, if I get Alistair, he's going to help me do cheese for the egg event. So that will be helpful there. Um, then Brianna, I have no shards for. <clears throat> I do want to get Marjorie unlocked. I only need two shards for Marjorie, and then I'll get her unlocked. Um, not sure how useful she's going to be at one star, but that's going to be that. Um, Ice Team also is going to be helpful for the boss battle, so I could get them brittle. So I do also have Jon Snow, Bastard of Winterfell, almost unlocked. And he has a very good move when they become brittle. So he does a very high attack when they are brittle. So Jon Snow will be unlocked eventually. Um, probably going to need more stars on him, but it's a week, It's a bi-weekly event, so that's going to happen naturally. Let's see who else. Uh, ghosts were far away on. I think the ship has sailed for Ghost. Um, so we're just going to focus on a brittle team for the dragons and PvP. Uh, we got the Mender, which is nice at three star. Might do something with him. Uh, Ravenous Bone Collector is actually a decent option for the ice team. 30% uh, chance to inflict two ice on each target. It's a fast speed. And if you guys are obsessed with the rainbow, he's a red character. So can definitely do that. Got the Godswood Defender almost at three stars. We definitely need to get him to four stars so he can remove bleed from the allies. Yeah. Did they just nerf this? Did they nerf it? I thought it was remove all bleed. It says one bleed now. Did they nerf his ability? Are you kidding me? Comment below and let me know if yours also has that. Because on my big account, he was able to cleanse all the bleeds. And he was, he was phenomenal in the Battle of the Bastards event. Um, yeah, that's not cool if they nerfed him. If they nerfed him like that. Um, yeah. Unlocked Allison. She's probably not going to do anything. Um, of use. So let's, uh, let's see. Other than that, nothing else pretty special in my lineup. But going to focus on ice here on out. Um, free city is good enough so far. Let's go ahead and do a PvP match with free city so I could show you what they're all about. And let's check our leaderboard. We are in the remaining zone, so we just got to stay in the remaining zone. Four days and 18 hours left. We're not in bad shape. Just got to make these wins. So let us do a little PvP match. And who do we want to take out? Let's take out Arya first. So they start off with their moves loaded. Turn one. Uh, because of the free city synergy. Let's heal Drago and pass some stamina to him. Let's hit Arya a little bit more and give more stamina to Drago. And then we're going to use the Long Braid, who's going to attack twice. And then we will shield with Zaro. And we want to match as much red as possible. The problem with this team is they are very, very reliant on red. And if you, if you take out their damage dealers, they don't have much going on for them, unfortunately. Let's save this for next turn so we could take him out and go again. 
Okay, beautiful. Let's take him out. Beautiful. Go again. Take up. Oh, not not strong enough. Not strong enough. I got to work on the gear. I got to work on the gear. The gear is super important. And their moves are loaded again. Let's start the train. Heal. Attack. Bam, bam, bam. This match is pretty much over. It is over. So Free Cities, they're doing well. Not very good on defense. I am getting hit a lot. I am getting hit a lot on defense. Um, but I'm trying to get all my attacks in. That's the best you could do. Uh, right now, I'm pretty much outclassed on getting higher. So I will be staying in Silver 2, hopefully. Um, but down the road, I could go Ice and potentially go up higher and get more rewards. So that is the plan of my account. I hope your accounts are doing well. Let me know how your free-to-play accounts are doing in the comments below. And tomorrow is, by when I'm recording this, tomorrow will be Battle of the Bastards. It will be released. Um, this video will probably be released when Battle of the Bastards comes out. So good luck in your event. And yeah, I'm really shocked that they nerfed the Godswood Defender because he was able to take all bleeds. And if it's just one bleed, it, it's pretty poopy. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I will talk to you next time. Take care.